Hey Sebastian, it's more of the same here at SeaTac with Alaska Airlines passengers frustrated their flights are being canceled as the airline continues to deal with a pilot shortage. Oh, frustrated, exhausted, I haven't slept at all. I feel like nobody's taking responsibility. Luis Rossia is one of more than 12,000 Alaska Airline passengers that have had their flights canceled on Saturday. That's about 7% of Alaska's overall operations. Rossia is just trying to get back home to Boston, but doesn't know when that will be. When I ask the, the assistants what's going on, they don't know anything. They say, I don't know what's going on, so it seems that nobody knows anything. This comes just a day after several off-duty pilots along the West Coast conducted an informational picket, hoping for better pay, more flexible schedules, and more job protections. A representative for the pilot says that picket didn't cause any of these cancellations and delays. The airline has been experiencing the past two days. We're equally as curious today, and I think that's actually a question that's best posed to the company. But he did say his group warned the airline about cancellations potentially happening as we draw closer to the busy travel months. Staffing has been a concern and something that we've spoken to them about for uh, many, many months, actually starting in conversations back last year, that this would be inevitable if we didn't have a contract in place that would help us attract and retain pilots. Alaska sent us a statement that didn't mention any pilot shortage, but it did acknowledge the large number of cancellations and said, quote, we apologize to all of our guests who we let down. Meanwhile, Rossia just wants to get home. At this point, to be honest, I don't trust Alaska. So I don't want to fly back to Boston in Alaska. So I'm trying to find a different uh, airline. And officials with Alaska Airlines tells me that there could be more cancellations throughout the night as well as tomorrow. For now, live at SeaTac, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.